guys, welcome to my Monday video and I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's been going on. I did a video a few weeks ago about my septum in my uterus. If you haven't watched it, go check it out before you watch this one. That way you kind of understand a little bit about what's going on. But I showed you guys um, a picture of my uterus and the fact that there's a, like a, a septum that goes all the way down to the bottom. It's really crazy looking. Um, we discovered that Oliver was able to, you know, basically implant on the, the larger side of my uterus, um, but that there's basically like two horns to it. Um, and so I actually met with my doctor a few days ago and I want to discuss that appointment. Um, I did want to also kind of address some comments because a lot of people are frustrated with my doctor and I think I might have explained him wrong. I might have made him sound like meaner than he really is. The thing is, I don't hate my doctor. I actually really truly respect him. He wants me to see all my options. He wants me to understand the full situation and he's not just going, okay, let's do the surgery, let's go. What I'm frustrated at is the process and the fact that he didn't just go, okay, let's go do surgery, because that's what I wanna do. I wanna get to surgery, I wanna get it fixed. He also wants to grab another doctor, pull her in, and see if she really also agrees that we should do surgery. So I think a lot of people were like, get rid of your doctor, he's not good for you, blah, blah, blah. He is a really good doctor. I'm seeing an RE. He is an infertility doctor, yes, but he is also a surgeon. He is the one who would do my surgery. So some people were like, go see a gynecologist. You need to go see someone else, but he is the, he is the right guy. So basically when I walked into that appointment, I was like, yes, he's gonna be like, let's do surgery. When can we schedule it? That needs to get out of there. And he walked in and he was like, wow, that is a septum. That is a that is crazy. Like he was really surprised at the, the septum. But he went on to tell me that, you know, at this point, he still doesn't think that it's necessary to do surgery. He says, because you had a baby. <laughs> he says, you had a su successful pregnancy. There's nothing that tells us that the other two pregnancies were lost from that. And I do understand it. You have to, you have to agree. I did have another pregnancy. I had a pregnancy and it was successful. My thinking is that the other two losses were from the septum, but there's no proof of that whatsoever. Well, I've come to terms with that. That's what I believe. But he also admits that he's not probably the doctor that would um, address this situation. So he wants to bring the perinatologist in who deals with high risk pregnancies and he wants her to say she should not have a pregnancy in that uterus. So basically he just wants a second opinion or he wants just another doctor to agree that um, surgery should be done. He is not denying me surgery. He wants me to fully understand there's a chance that if we do surgery, I can not get pregnant again. It's a slim chance, um, but he just, he's like people, women come in here who cannot get pregnant and I'm this fertility machine. I literally can get pregnant like that. And he's like, do you really want to risk that? But what he doesn't understand is I really don't want to risk any more pregnancy losses. I basically have to determine which one is the lesser of two evils, losing, possibly losing more babies, having more pregnancy losses, or possibly never being able to get pregnant again. Both of them are a chance. I feel like this one, getting pregnant again is probably a less, I probably will be able to get pregnant again. I feel like it's such a slim chance. But I feel like losing babies with the septum I have it's a higher chance. In my head, I my thinking is, I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna risk it anymore. I think I'm willing to risk no more babies um, rather than losing more babies. I just have to make another appointment, <laughs> which is the frustrating part. That's what I'm frustrated at. I have to make another appointment, I have to go down there, I have to meet with two doctors who have who need to agree that I need the surgery. And the thing is, is that my high-risk doctor, last time I saw her, she said, you are the perfect candidate for this surgery. So in my head, I think that when I walk in there, she's gonna say, duh, doctor, you need the surgery. <laughs> kind of what I'm hoping is gonna happen. It just sucks because I really did wanna get the surgery done before the end of the year. The other issue that he did raise about the surgery was that after the surgery, they want to put me on some kind of hormone pills. And I haven't done a lot of research. I did a little bit, but basically he says I'm going to need to be on estrogen and possibly progesterone for a few weeks after and so that it could dry up my milk. So that's an issue. I do not want to risk at all not being able to breastfeed. I do feel like um, I might not be able to do it until I'm done breastfeeding. I don't want anything interfering with breastfeeding, especially because not only uh, not only the drying up aspect, but the fact that I'm taking something that is obviously going to be 
drink, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna come out through the milk um, and something that Oliver could ingest. If it's possible to do it by the end of the year, I would be really excited, but that's not number one priority. Number one priority is, you know, just doing all the research and really figuring out if this is exactly the right decision for us. Okay, so hopefully I explained that as good as possible. Leave in the comments below if you have any experience um, with this kind of surgery or the hormones that you've taken, that you've taken afterwards, and also if you have any questions, because you might all be like, what is going on? I don't know. Thumbs up this video in hopes that my other doctor actually agrees to the surgery. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I actually put out videos now every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. See you guys in my next video. Bye! Me and Brian love this diaper. Um, and then the other main diaper that I use is a Charlie Banana, which is a pocket that goes um, right inside. I will say that I have debated buying just a bunch of Bum Genius because we really like the idea of not um, having to stick our hands into anything um, and pull any inserts out. But then we had an issue where all of a sudden